over the last several years, there's been an increased focus on public safety agencies. Unfortunately, it hasn't generally been in a positive light. Police officers have been captured on video with some highly questionable behavior, sometimes downright abusive behavior. We've seen an increase in the number of officer-involved shootings and other practices that really aren't consistent with what our expectations are for police behavior in the 21st century. At the same time, our officers are often in harm's way and there's been violence directed against police officers and that's not acceptable either and we want to have a robust police force to keep our community safe and protect people from harm. And some people see this as a crisis and of course we don't want to see these continued bad practices in, in the harsh light of publicity. We see them as an opportunity. Here at the Watts College of Public Service and Community Solutions, we have one of the top schools of criminology and criminal justice in the country. And in fact, within that school, a collection of incredible talent focused on policing. What that faculty has produced is a book which takes the crisis of the moment and treats it as an opportunity, an opportunity to learn from the research that's been done, apply those lessons to the moment, and move us forward in a positive way. I'm very excited by this collection because it takes the academic research and it puts it squarely in the context of the challenges we face at the moment. And I'm particularly pleased that each chapter by one of our professors is responded to by a police chief with practical experience. So the academic conclusions and the research-based observations are put to the test by being subject to the scrutiny of an individual has hands-on experience in the field. I think this is a terrific collection. I think it has the potential to influence police practice in a really positive way, and I'm very excited that you're choosing to listen to our faculty members and hopefully pick up the book and read it for yourself.